Hey, Sean Wickens here. So today I watched uh, The Atomic Brain, also known as Monstrosity, uh, 1964. Not to be confused with The Brain That Wouldn't Die, completely different black and white movie. Anyway, this was only 50 minutes, uh, just under an hour really, so uh, you, know, you could finish it on your lunch break if you wanted. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, and I watched it on my computer, so it, uh, it actually put trivia on the screen. There's a little thing you could click on to bring up trivia. So I read some stuff on it. And it was shot in 1958, but released in 63 because the production company went bankrupt halfway through the shooting. They tried to finish with what they had, but it was impossible. That was an actual quote from the producer. It was impossible to finish the film, but it's finished. Um, anyway, it was only shot in 10 days. but. Uh, it's about an old, rich lady who commissions a scientist to place her brain into the body of a younger woman so she could continue being rich, you know. And uh, we meet three candidates, one from England, one from Vienna, one from Mexico, and um, uh, an interesting sort of plot device that is that if uh, the, the scientist, med scientist, Dr. Frank, uh, says that if the authorities should find out what we're doing, I have to hit this button here to trigger a nuclear explosion. And uh, the lab would be destroyed. And they would never get caught. <clears throat> They're all dead. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, and there's also a um, zombie monster with the brain of a dog in this movie. Atomic Brain, Monstrosity, a.k.a. Monstrosity. Um, so, you know, it's a black and white film, which uh, always makes things uh, a little more eerie instead of campy. I grew up watching uh, Twilight Zone marathons and so forth, so something about black and white always made things a little bit more spooky. Um, but uh, nobody is going to get blown away by the, uh, the story, I feel like. But uh, it does capture a very specific mood. This is a very sort of classic, you know, horror movie host horror film. Um, the sound effects were great. I don't know if they stole sound effects from different movies or if they horror movie directors were passing around uh, audio reels with uh, great groovy sound effects on it. But um, anyway, it's a uh, is, uh, you know, a horror film from the 60s. And uh, it does end in a very interesting, it kind of sets up a sequel that we'll never ever get, where um, one of the survivors is being chased by a uh, vengeful cat. Um, anyway, so uh, give that a try if uh, black and white horror films are your thing from the 60s. Uh, I did read some reviews on... Uh, Amazon, and uh, one one person wrote, no one will ever call this a cult classic. Then somebody else called it high art. So, who knows what it is. Um, and uh, I think the actress who plays the old lady was uh, the emperor in Empire Strikes Back in the original footage. You'll have to look that up on YouTube. Anyway, um, one take. I got it. I got it done. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.